everyone. My name is Angelica Palacios. I'm the membership coordinator at the Latino Chamber of Commerce, and I am here today with Jerry, the executive director of Pueblo Urban Renewal Authority. So congratulations. We did select you guys to be the member of the month for September. So this is yours. Thank you very and much. Congratulations. Thank you. So Jerry, can you just tell us a little bit about Pueblo Urban Renewal Authority and, you know, the mission, any past, present projects that you want to talk about? Certainly. You know, the Pueblo Urban, Urban Renewal Authority has been operating in the city since 1959. And our mission is to go into neighborhoods that are su suffering economic decline, realizing urban blight, and uh, they're experiencing barriers to investment. And so what we do is we go in using tax increment financing as a tool to incentivize new development or revitalization, demolishing burned up structures, helping businesses expand. Nice. Um, it varies on what we get involved with. Things very small from helping someone repair a sidewalk to providing $100 million worth of environmental cleanup for the steel plant. So yeah. we do a lot uh, with what we do. The sky's the limit for us. Uh, but we're here primarily to, to help the community uh, revitalize these communities. Yeah, that sounds amazing. That, what you guys do is amazing, you know, focusing on where, you know, it might be an economic challenge for that to happen, but for you guys to make that happen, that's, like, amazing. Yeah, you know, you know one, of, one of the, the most interesting things we're working on right now is we're actually building two duplexes on the 600 block of East 2nd Street, right in the heart of the Lower East Side. Yeah. <clears throat> there are so many barriers and impediments uh, to developing in these existing neighborhoods you know you got to knock down a s existing structure you got to replace all the utilities and just the profit margins aren't there for the private sector yeah. and so they've languished over time what we are trying to do is go in to show the private sector you can build houses in these lower income areas and and still make a return on your investment so we're studying that now we're building our project yeah to show and to potentially partner with, with folks in the future, hey, look, let's start building more of these houses in these low-income areas for our work, emerging workforce and to repopulate some of these neighborhoods that have lost yeah. that vitality and, and the sense of community that was once there. Yeah, right. So my question for you now is, speaking about you know that being one of the projects, what are the steps you're going to take or that you have to take for not just this project, but any project you guys focus on? You know, we're, we're authorized to work in specific geographic areas of the city for up to 25 years. And so that these are the maps that you see on the wall. <clears throat> to create one of these districts takes about a year of careful coordination with all the taxing entities, all the elected officials, to bring forward a plan. Okay, this is our plan to help turn this, this community around, this particular neighborhood around. And we come up with the ideas and a work program to try to remove blight, incentivize development. City Council approves that, then for the next 25 years, our mission is to do everything we can to incentivize revitalization in that neighborhood. So it's a challenge. Uh, we've got several areas in town but uh, we're going to undertake some really cool stuff here soon. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, congratulations again to Pueblo Urban Renewal Authority, and it was so nice to, nice to, meet you. to get you Take care. your award.